On transformers, where the liquid preservation system design uses a conservator tank, a Buchholz relay is commonly fitted to provide protective functions and accumulate gases released from the transformer. When, for some reason, gases are not dissolved in the insulating liquid, they evolve in the form of bubbles. These bubbles tend to rise inside the unit and find their way to the conservator through the pipe, connecting the main transformer and the conservator tanks. It is on this pipe where the Buchholz relay is typically installed to trap the bubbles before they reach the conservator tank. These free gases are commonly the result of abnormal conditions inside the transformer and are also useful in the diagnosis of these conditions. The Buchholz samples can be taken from the gas sampling device accessible at ground level. If this gas sampling device is not available, the samples have to be taken directly from the Buchholz and therefore cannot be taken while the unit is energised. A Buchholz can be either sampled for oil or gas. In this video, the techniques for sampling both are demonstrated. If the Buchholz contains accumulating gas that needs to be sampled, the gas can be retrieved using a variety of sampling containers. In this video, the sampling procedures for glass syringes and gas sampling bags are shown. Regardless of the sampling container, the first task is to bring the accumulating gas in the Buchholz to the sampling device. In order to do this, perform the following steps. Open the bottom port of the sampling device and allow the oil to drain. You will notice that the oil level in the sampling device decreases. Once the sampling device is full of gas, close the bottom port. Once the gas is collected in the sampling device, retrieve the gas by following the next steps. Attach the sampling tubing to the top port of the sampling device. Connect the sampling container, either the glass syringe or the sampling bag, to the tubing connected to the top port of the sampling device. Open the valve on the sampling container and then open the top port of the sampling device to allow the gas to flow. You will notice that the oil level will start to rise again as the gas is pushed out of the sampling device. Use additional syringes or bags if necessary to collect all the gas accumulated in the Buchholz relay. When all the gas has been retrieved, ensure that the gas sampling device is purged by opening up the top port until oil pours out. If no further assembling is to be done, make sure all the valves are in the correct position, ensure all the plugs have been installed and tightened, and that the area and the sampling devices are clean. The next part of this video demonstrates how to sample oil from the Buchholz sampling device. Follow the normal precautions for oil sampling that you've learned about in this training series. Additionally, due to the height of the sampling port with respect to the ground, and in order to prevent any unnecessary oil spills, it might be necessary to either hang a bucket from a suitable location or have a second person help during this operation. Attach a suitable adapter and flush approximately half a litre of oil to clean the sampling port and discard the oil that might have been stagnant in the lines. Depending on the size of the transformer and the length of the lines connecting the sampling device for the Buchholz relay, it may be necessary to flush additional oil to ensure the representative sample is being obtained. Allow 50 milliliters to enter the syringe, then immediately close the port to the syringe by turning the handle to position one. Hold the syringe vertically, keeping the handle in the closed position. 
move the stopcock to position 2 and eject any bubbles by carefully depressing the plunger. Turn the stopcock to the closed position, which is position 1. Thank you for watching. This concludes our transformer oil sampling series. Please subscribe for updates on new training series.